uh, we've um, outfitted it with a uh, manipulator, uh, which gives it a little more autonomy because it can now, uh, it's not stuck in the lab, it can go into the design room. We've been also working on uh, humanoid robots. Some of the ones that Gil showed from the DRC were built by us, and they're derived from uh, these models we're showing here. But again, our focus is on balance and dynamics, and uh, uh, working a little bit the way people and animals do, where you move quickly in order to keep yourself stabilized if you're disturbed. So we use that rock bed as a means of stabilizing, and uh, sometimes we just uh, kick the robot or, or use a weight. Uh, we're interested in getting this robot out into the world. Out in the world is uh, just a totally different challenge than in the lab. You can't predict what it's going to be like. Uh, this isn't completely out in the world because there's that power tether, but we're working on a version that doesn't have that. And, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff happens out there, and we're making uh, pretty good progress on making it so it has uh, mobility that's sort of within shooting range of yours. I'm not saying it can do everything you can do, but. Uh, you can imagine if we keep pushing, uh, we'll get there.